You wrote these pages in the dark place. So why are we finding them here? I think I wrote them. I, I remember writing an endless amount of pages. But when this happened before, the, the pages were being sent from the dark place to help me. Maybe the same thing is happening here. That's all for now, Mr. Wake. Thank you for your cooperation. Nightingale goes missing for 13 years, shows up murdered, and then turns into a monster. After I stop Nightingale, a rider who's also been missing for 13 years turns up. What's the connection? What kind of case is this? <clears throat> That's not right. The pages we've been finding are from a horror story called Return, written by Alan Wake. And the contents of this book are coming true. Why couldn't it have been a romance? Doesn't look right.
keep trying. Hmm. behind this. I can help you. No, 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 that's not how this works. You're a civilian, and we don't do ride-alongs. And if Scratch is after you, then so is the cult. We don't know who we can trust here. Damn it, you are making a mistake. Mm-hmm, I'll be sure to add that to the list. I feel bad for these guys. Hi, welcome. Okay, past favorite Deerfest floats. Go. The yarn puppet monstrosity. The uh, stuffed moose and squirrels one. No, so who's in you. for a bet this <laughs> Those year? Those beady dead marble eyes. A hundred bucks me says there'll be at least one vendor bender mm. between the floats. For that amount of money, you'll cause it yourself. Yeah, I'm not taking that wager. Too many Hello, opportunities and welcome for Welcome to Coffee World, Bojit, Washington's best coffee themed amusement park. All of our attractions are family friendly and available to children of all ages. Just like our coffee. So, take a sip of our own dear diner organic coffee and let the adventure begin! For dear life on the Espresso Express! Oh! Soak in some local history at the Huatari Well, where two serial killers once hid the disemboweled bodies of their murder victims. Uh, it's not a haunted. No. <laughs> Come join Mocha Moose and the goats at our amusement park petting zoo. Just don't share your coffee with the goats. <laughs> Seriously, stop feeding our goats coffee. Seriously, it's not a moving. Take in amazing views from the slow roaster Ferris wheel. I can almost see the watery lighthouse trailer park. This is so much fun. And finish off at our beautiful gift shop where seniors and children under 10 receive a 9% discount on keychains and propane tanks. Welcome to Coffee World. We guarantee you'll jaw a great time. This is the third time I've requested something be done about the TV in my room. It keeps going on by itself. It's keeping me awake all night. Yes, sir, I'm terribly sorry for that. Uh, we've called a professional electrician. In the meantime, have you tried unplugging the TV for the night? Oh, oh, there's an idea, Einstein. Why, why, why don't I just get rid of everything I'm paying for in that room while I'm at it? Sleep on the floor. Go to the toilet in the corner. Hey, I'm not unplugging it. You're fixing it. Of course, sir. It's not opening. Hello? Hello?
Ed hadn't been the same since his latest show had closed. This wasn't the first time one of his productions had shuttered early. Scathing social commentary in a one-act play wasn't exactly filling seats. When Tammy told him she was taking a research trip to Bright Falls, he decided to tag along. Ed told her he wanted to find inspiration. Really, he just wanted a break from the city. But it was true that he certainly needed to find something. A voice, a direction, an idea, something authentic to himself. Ed knew he couldn't keep using Tammy's money to fund his playwriting. After the argument with Tammy, Ed stormed out of the diner and drove their rental car back to Cauldron Lake to prove a point. Now standing in the dark woods, the sun hidden by the trees, Ed wished he could remember what that point was. Something about masculinity. He cursed at himself and turned to go. Suddenly, he was blinded by a light in his face. Voices shouted and hands pushed him to the ground. Ed struggled in vain. Tammy tapped her pen on her notebook. Alan Wake had ridden this same ferry into town when he arrived. This was his entry into Bright Falls, his first steps across the threshold. She wrote that down. She always found it helpful to walk in the victim's shoes, do what they did, see what they saw. It added great color to the book. Tammy felt raindrops on her face. God, again? She pulled up her hood. The rain just kept coming. She missed New York. So far, this hadn't been the simple research trip she pictured. First the incident at the lake, then the fight with Ed. It's not surprising tempers got hot. They were both on edge after what had happened. Tammy had said some things, things she regretted. She looked out over the harbor. A chill passed through her. She hoped Ed wouldn't do anything stupid. force it open. Is there anything else I can help you with, sir? Would you like a complimentary dinner tonight? Well, that almost makes up for the ineptitude of this place. I'm glad to hear it. <laughs> open this with my bare hands.
Yako, we are going to a cool guy's house to drink some brewskis. Are you coming? No, Ilmo. I'm very busy wearing a turtleneck and drinking wine like an asshole. Oh dear, I know what Yako needs. I'm a beer to the rescue. Bring out your inner Wolverine with Ama Beer. Wow, this is the best party ever. Thanks, Ama Beer. Ama Beer is a traditional Finnish lager, and we drink it the Finnish way. At the bar while actively avoiding small talk with strangers. Getting blackout drunk on a boat during midsummer and trying not to drown. In the sauna, using your beer can to hide your pippeli from wandering eyes. Partaking in the Finnish tradition of kalsarikannit. Drinking at home alone in your underwear with no intentions of going out. It's not sad if it's intentional. Ahma beer. Your Finnish drinking adventure starts here. I swear I brought my full kid along. Jules, you didn't forget to pack the EMF reader, did you? Why would you pack your Another name? locked box. Now how am I supposed to measure the energy signatures emitted by paranormal manifestations? Terry, how are we today? Hey there, Pat, you're in just fine. I'm a super big fan of the show. What a treat to be on with you today. The pleasure's all mine, Terry. <laughs> now, I hear you're doing something special for Deerfest. Tell us about that. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm crafting a selection of custom basswood cuckoo clocks, but the real special sauce is when it's cuckoo time and you're expecting a bird to pop out for a chirp. <gasps> out comes a big old deer. Well, that's just neat. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty neat. Real neat. That's gonna have the tourists tickle pink. And I hear you're selling these at the Sunday market. So make sure to say hello to Wendy Davis from our sponsor, Davis Family Beef Jerky, while you're there, all right? Terry, you, you, you still there? Yeah, yeah, still here. I'm just... Jeez, Pat, I'm, I'm sorry to tell you this. I, I, I thought you heard Wendy's dead. Oh, boy. That's, that's a strange joke you're playing there, Terry. No, it's... I, I, I'm sorry, Pat. You you know all that FBI business when it was one of those bodies they found. Well, that's just not possible, Terry. Wendy stopped by this morning with three flavors of beef jerky. She brought me the uh, the the smoked hickory and the teriyaki and and then what was that other one? I'm I'm real sorry, Pat. What was that other one? She was just talking about this just hours ago. Smoke hickory, teriyaki, and... Hickory teriyaki! Thanks, Tapio! It's, it's just a bit of a strange joke, Terry. Did Yako and Elmo put you up to this? Pat, well, somebody's having a laugh over this little prank, I'm sure. 
Terry, thank you so much for your time. Can't wait to see those Deer Fest cuckoos at the market. Wendy will be there with her beef jerky as always, and, and we'll be back after this. I can't wait to hit the haunts. We should check the town out first. You know, do research. Yeah, Anderson, I didn't want to say this in front of Wake, but are you sure this is a good idea, going on your own? Assuming we believe the page, I need to check this out. We need to find the cult. Anyone we meet here could be a member. And this scratch guy. The evil doppelganger? It must be true, or else this guy can't write for shit. The quality of his writing aside, if this page turns out to be true like the rest have, this could be a breakthrough. We might solve this thing before a backup even arrives. Yeah, but they're taking their time, so just be careful out there. Meanwhile, I think me and Wake will have a chat. Maybe I can shake something loose. Okay. But remember what happened with the salt shaker. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, real funny. The page placed me in a trailer, somewhere in Watery. I should ask around. The flooding is even worse here. More like underwatery. I'll have to tell Casey that one later. Hey, what did you used to say your dream job was as a kid? I bet it wasn't dock worker. I don't know about all that, but idle hands are the devil's playground, so... Well, us fishing types appreciate you all, at least. Hey, where's the time gone? There's just a wretched husk of what used to be me left. Well, they say being old is just a state of mind. I'd like to give them a piece of my mind. Maricetta will stand up for justice. A vote for Mayor Setter is a vote for everyone. For Watery! A trailer park. Ilmo Koskela. He's that tour guide we met at Cauldron Lake. I need to find him. Mom's family was from Sweden. I've always imagined it kind of like this. Saunas, lakes. Seems nice. Enjoying the sauna? You bet. The steam is amazing on my creaky old joints. I'm just waiting for Ati to wrap up his show so we can crack open some beers. I've read that taking a sauna is good for preventing dementia. Yeah, and so is beer. Ever heard of the cult of the tree? The half deer, half man monsters? Oh, sure I've heard of them. They're the reason I can't risk taking walks in the forest anymore. If one of them shows up, how am I supposed to get away? I can't run with a bad hip. I'd be killed for sure. I could maybe use my crutches to defend myself. Do you think that'd work? You're the professional. Probably smart just to stay in the sauna for now. Hey, Seva, a sauna doesn't fix what ails ya. You're a goner. They also say silence is golden. Whew. 
Whew. Hot. What have you been up to this time around? There's only so many times I can keep fixing the same hole. Let's she get loose from the moon. Watery's definitely it quaint. Her up so securely, I swear this vessel has a mind of its own. I bet they have good fish here. Trailer Park is a good place to look for a trailer. Keep it simple, Saga. Have a second. Ah, long time and no see, Miss Anderson. Uh, Thor and Odin are not here. They are uh, old tricksters always sneaking off. Sorry, no, I, I wanted to ask you about something else. Do you live around here? I live in Bright Falls. You have seen me around. I am Mr. Blum. You call me Vladimir. I work at the nursing home. I take care of your old people. We are on day trip, music, sauna, the good times. I bring them here in the bus. The elderly are very important. And it's a very nice bus. Thanks.
Okay then. Catchy tune.
Excuse me. Do you know Aga, where? Hush. Aki's in the middle of a show. I wonder if I'm the first FBI agent to ever get shushed. Saga! Over here! Hey, Ilmo. How did your walk in the woods with Steven go? Another satisfied customer. I just hope he remembers to write a good review on the webpage. Great to see you back in Watery, Saga. Everyone in town missed you. <laughs> Super nice to see you again, Saga. They act like they've known me for years. This keeps happening. Are you familiar with the cult of the tree? Yeah, we always thought it was an urban legend. Kids drawing creepy symbols to scare each other, but, uh... Now it's gotten pretty damn real, huh? It's terrible what happened. We're all in shock. Well, we're looking into it. Hoping to get things back to normal soon. We're all for that. <laughs> as normal as it ever gets around here. You own the trailer park, right? Mind if I take a look inside? Uh, uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure the owner of the Watery Lighthouse Trailer Park, me, can help you with that. It's good to have our funniest resident back. Resident? I don't understand what you mean. If this is your way of getting out of any outstanding bills, don't worry. They've been handled. Must be hard coming back to where you and your little girl lived. It's like they remember a different reality. Is the horror story messing with their memories? So what is Coffee World? <laughs> you mean you haven't seen our commercial for it? Coffee World is a smooth blend of rides, food, and fun. We even had a real moose. Until recently. Plus, right next to Coffee World is the workshop of our own Kalevala Knights Motorcycle Club. We're busy building the uh, floats for Deerfest. Don't go peeking, though. <laughs> you know, we're saving the big reveal for DFest. So... your commercials? They're more than commercials, Saga. Our goal is to both entertain and educate local viewers about the fine products and services we provide. And, uh, Yako here really comes alive in front of the camera. Really. Fuck off. I'm just there for the free beer. Not sure what Ilmo's excuse is. Hey, I'm writer, producer, co-lead, director. Do yourself a favor and, uh, check them all out. I'm missing something. I should try profiling. Elmo thinks the cult is just an urban legend. Or does he? There are things that go bump in the night. It's all true. It's all true. Sound the alarm, brother. Gather the troops, brother. Yako, the shadow of the forest is creeping closer. They don't think it's an urban legend at all. They understand it's dangerous. Ilmo made it sound like I lived here. Does he really believe that? Light, laughter, and love will guide you home. Saga and her daughter. Oh boy. Happy faces raise property value. Family comes first, Ilmo. We take care of her trailer while she's gone. She's one of us, Yako. Her spare key is safe and sound. The Koskala brothers have happy memories of me living here. This must be the story affecting them. I'll play along for now. I need the key to that trailer. All joking aside, yes, I would like to see my trailer. 
Do you have a spare set of keys? Good for you. Yeah, I have a spare set. They're just over at Coffee World. I'd get them for you, but Yaku and I have to head to Bright Falls. The spare keys are in the gift shop safe. I'll call ahead and uh, have someone get them out for you. Oh, the road's flooded. But if you just follow this trail behind me, it'll lead you there. Call the gift shop so they can give Saga a hand. Yep. The Coscellas think I lived in the trailer park. With Logan. The story really is changing people's memories. Why aren't mine affected? Wake says a story will change reality around us. If that's true, then I need to know what's real and what's fiction. The spare key is a coffee world. First the witches at the diner. Now the Cascalas. They all think Logan and I used to live here. Wake said the horror story would make people crazy. Like they're being brainwashed to believe the story. Is it spreading? world. Need to get across the river. What was that?
What was that? Fuck! FBI, show yourself! turning into Taken. Is this the cult? Or the story? Or both? There's a rhyme over here. Hmm. Oh, damn. Another charm. Good thing Logan made me this bracelet. There's another cult stash. What had kept Watery afloat all these years? A century, if not more. The locals knew the answer. Grit. 
or as they put it in the language of their Finnish forefathers, Sisu. These days, Sisu was need more than ever. The town was fading. It never quite recovered from the lumber mill shutting its doors. Now the fishing was drying up as well. Most people had left to find jobs in other towns. Only the most tenacious stubbornly remained. Dug in. Parasites in the body of a terminal patient. Sisu. Some people tried to resuscitate the town. The Koskala brothers double-handedly warded off the impending darkness with their ventures. Coffee World brought tourists, money, and jobs. Coffee-themed fun for all ages. The Kalevala Knights Motorcycle Club built parade floats. The bikers repaired vehicles and volunteered locally. But it wouldn't be enough. Watery needed a miracle. The end of the road was in sight. That was coming fast. Saga was beginning to see why Casey disliked the woods so much. They felt oppressive here. Too many places to hide. The distorted carnival music drifting from the amusement park ahead did not help. What the Koskalis had said about her living in Watery with Logan unsettled her. For the horror story to involve her was one thing, but involving her daughter was crossing the line. Something darted across the path ahead. Too fast to see. Saga drew a weapon. Her eyes searched the woods, a noise overhead. Saga swiveled to look, a local, a man on the ridge above her. No, not a man, a monster with a hatchet in each hand. It shouted down at her. Hunting season was a bust.
another one of those cult boxes. So we can put an end to these silly rumors. And, oh, it looks like we already have her on the phone line. <laughs> Wendy, hello. Hi there, Pat. Ah, uh, that, that's, that's not Wendy. No, this is Jim Figamore. Remember, we were going to do the announcement today. Oh, is that, was that today? Listeners, we have Jim Figamore with us and the director of the Bright Falls Community Theater, and... And I'm here to announce that the theater will be losing one of its most dignified thespians as I, Jim Figamore, will be running for mayor! <laughs> Hold for applause. Well, that's, uh, quite a, an announcement, Jim. 
Just let me find my notes here. I have some questions written down for you. The real question is what happened to this town. Bright Falls used to draw in thousands of tourists with its vibrant art scene and impressive bird feeders. And what's our reputation now? Haunted Bright Falls. Spooky Bright Falls. The world is laughing at us. And now all this business with the FBI? We need a mayor who can turn this town's reputation around. And nobody knows more about the role of mayor than I do. I played one in the theatrical production of Fiorello. To glowing reviews by Coffee World magazine. Mayor Setter is a joke. And you know what? I hear he kills cats. There. I said it. Now, Jim, this is a family show. Ah, I found my notes here, so, so why don't we pivot to some questions? First question, what exactly goes into that delicious beef jerky? Uh, right, so it looks like these are my questions for Wendy Davis of Davis Family Beef Jerky. <laughs> the only jerk I care about is Mayor Setter. Our future's at stake. Pets are being murdered. And it's time for a change. Jim Figamore for mayor. That concludes our program today. Oh, I, I actually had more. Jim Figamore and Pat Main signing off. Another rhyme. Sure. Oh shit.
Good job, Saga. Now keep moving. A lunchbox again. Who's leaving these out here? A charm.
There's another lunchbox. Scratch stalked through the forest, a terrifying dark presence in the night, more sensed than seen. Darkness boiled in his skull, like a storm cloud crammed into a bottle. The woods were alive with those he had taken. They were coming with him, directed by him, his army of darkness. His singular purpose was a sharp, pulsing black hole in his head, waves roaring out of it to whip his flock into a frenzy filling them with his purpose. The clicker. He wanted it. To make his horrific ending to the story come true. The art was there. The clicker would push it across the final threshold, a detonator to send out a tidal wave that would spread to overtake reality. He was so close to claiming it. The Taken gibbered and shouted, straining against their invisible leashes, filled with bloodlust. Scratch let them go. They launched themselves into the night with violent glee. He ripped a signpost from the ground, swung it in his hands as if it was made of air. Ahead, the music started. It called him on. Let the final deer fence commence. I'll need to get the key to the trailer park myself. Ilmo said the key is kept in the gift shop safe. Another cult stash?
locked. Need something to jimmy it open with. A list of maintenance work. A screwdriver. Huh. When you ask, Marisetta will speak. Must be locked from the other side. Coffee world. The most caffeinated place on Earth. And yet nobody's here to help me get that key. Using screwdrivers to break into gift shops isn't exactly standard procedure.
Jesus! Calm down, Saga. It's just a pot of coffee. Have a beautiful day! Thank God. Okay, then. This is time! to this.
I need something to cut this. Hey, this should get that gift shop open.
Where is that safe? Sorry, we're at a Bright Falls blend, Anna apologized to the customers. I'll just grab some from the back. More coffee coming right up. She suggested they ride the percolator while they waited. She passed Ilmo at the Espresso Express. Big smile, Anna. Coffee world is all smiles. Anna nodded, smiled. She smiled until her face hurt. Anna stopped walking, realized she was standing next to the Huatari well. Must have zoned out, she thought. She was about to go, but something in the well caught her eye. A shadow shifting in the dark. Anna was overcome by vertigo. The world tilted, and then she was falling down, down, down into the shaft. The darkness opened up to swallow her. I guess a toy knife will do. Locked. Okay. What would Ilmo use for a code? I need to open the safe. What's the combination? People hate the puzzle, Zuma. Why not just use keys? People love the puzzles, Yaku. Only very smart people can think up good puzzles. Just look around and you will find the answer. Dedicated staff will be rewarded. The combination to the safe is somewhere in the gift shop. Coffee World staff. Hope they're not all monsters now. The photos have stickers on them. I bet Ilmo is the kind of guy who likes Sudokus.
The keys to my trailer. Now to find the clicker and the cult. The page said I'd run into a cultist here. On your toes, Saga. Marisetta is not afraid of the rough questions. for the Anderson trailer? What? Sweetie pie, right on time! Like we were just saying, it's not true. The lies to hurt you and make you weak. Don't believe a word. They believe because deep down, they want to be told what to think. We're different. Rebels! You must stop it before it turns real. Don't be part of the story. Make the story. <laughs> stop the hell of it! <laughs> These old drunks don't seem affected by the horror story like the other locals are. Do they know what's happening here? How do you know about the story? Same as you, of course, sweetie pie. We are family. The Andersons. Vikings. Gods. So 
good to finally see you, Saga. I am your great uncle Odin, and this is your long lost Mordefrad, Tor. Sarasoga. He is your grandfather, and I am the old father. <laughs> Just as crazy as everyone else. Just as caught in it. I need to stay focused. I need to check out the trailer. You have things to do, sweetie pie. We don't want to keep you from your business. You can come see us anytime at our resting place, Valhalla Nursing Home. It looks like you two have had a bit too much fun. She sees right through us, bro. She has the power. This calls for a fucking celebration. Our little saga all grown up and finally home. Sure, we've had a few sips. Just a taste. The famous Anderson moonshine. Oh, the nectar of the gods. You want some? No, thanks. Your name is Anderson? Same as you, kiddo. Tor Anderson, Odin Anderson, you old gods of Asgard. That's our band. You're... You are Saga Anderson, goddammit. A Viking goddess. <laughs> I like the sound of that. Tor? Odin, Saga, all Norse-inspired, plus the same last name. A coincidence? Did the horror story change their names to match mine? Have you seen any strange people in deer masks? I haven't drunk enough for that yet. You can see all sorts of wonderful things when you make your way down the bottle. Even more so with just one eye. Okay. Never mind. So, do you know where the Anderson trailer is? Right behind us. We've been looking after it since you left. Uh-huh. Thanks for your help. Anytime, kiddo. Do you think we missed Audie's show? Who cares? That depressing tango shit is bad for your head, bro. Too much truth in it. Drags me down. Hero's tango is flipping. <clears throat> Music for the soul. Mm. Incredibly attractive martial arts master. It's me, your brother, Ilmo. I now recognize you, but Ilmo, why are you dressed like that? Deerfest is almost here, which means we're <laughs> chopping the prices on all of our custom designed Deerfest parade floats. Floats created by the award winning team at Kalevala Knights Motorcycle Club, winners of last year's trophy for best Deerfest float featuring an animal that is not deer. That very team and you're gonna get a kick <laughs> out of our latest float designs <laughs> we've done it all deer fest floats restaurant floats floats shaped like things we can't show on television <sighs> our floats are the best way to impress your friends propose to your partner or throw shade at an office colleague and we don't do just deer fest our floats are a perfect gift for weddings birthdays and bar mitzvahs or your Gonna circuit Our floats will punch up any special occasion. <laughs> but why take our word for it? Let's hear it from one of our many, many happy customers. I was at Deer Fest last year. Floats were pretty good. One of them was a swan. <laughs> 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 
Yeah, that was dope. People liked it. And there you have it. Award-winning boats now at reduced prices that will... Knock you off your feet! Order yours today! You were a handsome deer. to leave us behind every chance he gets. Ah, we got time. Plum wants to stay on our good side. Reeks of booze. Did I leave the Bureau in this fictional reality? Addressed to me from years ago. Wake was right. The horror story is changing reality, not just people's memories. Everything here reminds me of Logan. This could be her room. This is getting too real. Too personal. Bon. Logan used to love her music. The Nordic Tales book Mom gave to Logan when she was little. Logan's junior agent certificate. So cute. My newfound relatives, cozy with the cult of the tree. And that's the clicker, in the hands of the cult, just like the page promised. Carly Vala Knights. That's the motorcycle club the Coscella brothers are in. I'll take Odin and Tor up on their offer and visit their nursing home, right after I find this biker workshop. No. It's, it's not true. It's just a fucking story. It's not true. Logan's back home. She's fine. What the fuck? 
she's at school. David. I'm in the story and it's coming true. Wake said Scratch would try and hurt me with the horror story. But he said there's still time to stop this. That he can stop this with a clicker. Hey, this is David. Leave a message. David? Is Logan okay? Call me back as soon... is a cultist? What the fuck is going on here? The cult of the tree! Thornton too? God damn it! And now they're all taken? Stop right there. The shape stumbled out of the dark toward Deputy Mulligan. Thornton was doubled over, coughing. A chunk of cold pastrami caught in his throat. Bring it, fucker! Mulligan fired. Thornton hacked the pastrami out of his windpipe, opened fire with his partner. The monster fell. They kept shooting. The thrill of domination. This was the cult of the tree. Not one tree. A forest. Secret knowledge in a deer mask. The last line of defense. yippee ki motherfucker. Bright Falls, fucking finest. They crept over, pulling out their flashlights. The horror. This is Monica from the tackle shop. An innocent woman. Thornton's pastrami came back up.
locked. They must be in there. There has to be a way to get this lock open. This is the cult hideout. Their headquarters, even? There's a basement. The Nightingale ritual wasn't completed. The cult is leaving supplies around for themselves. This will be handy. That's it. The cult isn't well organized. People aren't following orders. This is the cult's process. Their ritual. This is one weird cult. Rose. She's that waitress from the diner. The photo proved the cult had the clicker. Thor and Odin were in it too. Worth following up on later. A creepy basement. playing with me. I was so close.
The clicker was there the whole time. Fucking Mulligan and Thornton. Mulligan and Thornton are members of the cult. Who's the leader? Brains leaking out like ilk. The thrill of domination. Not one tree. A forest. The word. A secret like this doesn't die. There is more than one leader. They took the clicker into the overlap. How do I get it back? There was another overlap here in Watery. The parade float was the key. Mulligan and Thornton had gone there, taken the clicker, left this monster here to stop her. There's an overlap here, like there was at Cauldron Lake. Mulligan and Thornton are like Nightingale. Inside, waiting. And a parade float is the key. What had kept Watery afloat all these years? A century of... Saga had read about it. The trap. She knew what was waiting for her. The moment she saw the giant, she knew she wasn't ready. You let Logan drown. The weapon it carried could crack her skull like a brittle egg. Brains leaking out like yolk. Everything she loved, lost. Everything she was, lost. We will watch it eat your mind. Reading this made her sick, but the fear was sharp when she faced it. There was another overlap here in Watery. The parade float was the key. Mulligan and Thornton had gone there, taken the clicker with them, left this monster here to stop her. Mulligan and Thornton were fine earlier. How did this happen? Terrible mistake. Shadows crept over Mulligan and Thornton. Shadows on their faces, filling the shape of them. Bright Falls fucking finest. Shitty pastrami sandwich. Mulligan and Thornton became like Nightingale. A Taken is upstairs. This was a trap. that parade float.
Is this the parade float the page mentioned? There's your knife. <laughs> the overlap formed around Watery's dark past. The ritual to enter was tied to crafting the float. Art was the key. It had the power to let Saga in. At Cauldron Lake, giving the poem and the heart to the witch sign opened the overlap. Here, it's the parade float. But it's incomplete. Ilmo stood in front of the parade float, turned dramatically to his crew. Now, imagine the murderer's arms moving. Stab, 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 and then Naki laughing. Everyone at Deerfest always plays it safe, not us. This monument to Watery's history, this work of art will sweep this year's awards. The overlap formed around Watery's dark past. The ritual to enter was tied to crafting the float. Art was the key. It had the power to let Saga in. This is one disturbing parade float. Stabbing again and again. That must mean the arm's supposed to move. How come one of them is wearing a mask and the other isn't? What's missing from the parade float? I need to put it together. So this is the Koskala Brothers parade float. Looks like only four pieces are missing. The mask is the only one without a location listed. Hmm. Gift shop. Easy. I can't make out what it says. Fair trade fun zone. Espresso Express. Got it. Should the characters be moving? The float killer isn't wearing a mask. Maybe he needs one. The materials listed for the parade float mention a mask. Where is it? Poor Mocha Moose. He never failed to amuse me. Now we know, Ilmo, there is such a thing as too much coffee. Mocha will live on in a place of honor. He lost his head. Mulligan and Thornton had one job. Mulligan and Thornton must know where the Moose Skull mask is. A fuse could come in handy.
That must be the circuit board I need for the float. How do I get down there? A fuse is missing. Can't operate the ride without it. There we go. Now I just need to stop it in a position that will let me get to that circuit board down there. The killing of Monica Thompson was a terrible mistake. Thornton blamed Mulligan's itchy trigger finger. Mulligan blamed Thornton's shitty pastrami sandwich. They only agreed it wasn't their fault. No one will find her corpse. We'll hide it. They fed the body to the maw of a crumbling well, like the murderous Huatari brothers did long ago. They lied to everyone. The word would never get out. But a secret like this doesn't die. It grew inside them, like cancer, the darkness taking over, filling the shape of them. The mask is missing. Where is it? The dead brought back to life. The crown of the Grand Master. No mistake is never a mistake. Just get it fucking done. They know where it is. I know they know. Where is the mask? Go ahead and bleach it. We all bow to him. The mall of the crumbling well. Show the bitch who's boss! The moose mask is at the Huatari Well, in Coffee World. I saw something. Like I did in Cauldron Lake. The well, here in Coffee World. I know the moose skull will be there.
Now I need to bring the mass to the float. The moose skull goes here, obviously. <laughs> A little something to get those arms moving. Mulligan and Thornton in the wreckage of the morgue, shadows on their faces. Thornton did his best woman's voice. I'm a stuck-up FBI bitch. I'll make a big fucking mess and get these dumb backwater cops to clean it up. Thornton turned to his partner. These government motherfuckers. Next time, Mulligan, I'll tell her. You got no clue. You let your own kid drown. You're a fucking fraud. Mulligan leered. Pinning the murder on the bookers would have fixed this whole goddamn mess. But their kind always sticks together. I reckon we should show the bitch who's boss, Thornton. Shadows crept over Mulligan and Thornton. Inside them, they grinned. The story is trying to take Logan. I can still stop this. I need the clicker.
Anderson for the trick. He has it now. Wake? I saw him this way in the other overlap. <sighs> it's a loop. Just like before. Nightmare. I can't get through that. I need to look for another way through.
Okay. Going down. What does that mean? Ilmako Skella stood in front of the small gathering of Coffee World employees and bikers. He read from a piece of paper. Mocha was a wonderful moose who deserves a place of honor in the Hall of the Calavella Knights. His skull will become the crown of the Grand Master, the dead brought back to life. There was polite applause. After the service, Ilmo had the body hauled off to be turned into moose steaks. Mulligan and Thornton were told to get the head cleaned. They both grabbed an antler. What the hell, Thornton? I got it, Mulligan. They brought the skull into the workshop to boil it and bleach it. They grumbled, wanted to just get it fucking done. It was just a stupid animal. But I guess moose steak is never a mistake, huh?
Shadow's crept over Mulligan and Thornton. No one will find her corpse. Thornton! I got it, Mulligan!
There. Next time they won't be coming back. Show me the bitch who's boss! <laughs> Saga Anderson, listen. Wake? I, I've been tricked. Scratch room. I tried to fix the story, but... Has it now. It's the key to escape. What do you mean, escape? You're already out. So is Scratch. Silks? Listen, I'm making progress. I wrote to be the story's hero. Save her family. Save us all. Save her family? Are you talking about my family? Yes. yes. You know it's working. You just need to keep going. Did you put my family in the horror story? I keep seeing him in overlaps, but he's already out. Are these visions coming from the past? When he was still trapped in the dark place? I have the clicker. I can stop this nightmare.
Wake said he could use the clicker to undo the horror story. I need to get back to Bright Falls, to Casey and Wake. I should check in with Casey.